Yo, what is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Thank you for clicking on today's video. And I've tried avoiding this subject over and over, but the man just thinks he's right all the time, and it needs to be put down. It needs to just be spoke about and put in his fucking place. And that man is Simon B. One four seven one. I try and avoid this subject again and again, and I just keep getting sent clips or screenshots of him talking shit repeatedly, repeatedly, and threatening legal action. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, you heard that correct. He's threatening to now sue me and take it to court because he didn't like the video I made, which again is protected under fair use. He clearly doesn't know how the fair use law works. I used around 15 seconds of his fucking footage and I used it in a comedic way, but apparently... According to Simon, you know, the attorney at law himself, that's not covered under fair use. But he can talk shit about me all he wants without any repercussions. That's how it works in his head, ladies and gentlemen. Yo, well, ladies and gentlemen, we're back again on Simon's Twitter account. But shit, I can't look on my account because it's still suspended because he reported me because I don't agree with him. So we're in incognito mode looking at his Twitter account, and this is because I've been sent tons of pictures, again, and video clips of him still talking shit, the man cannot drop it, he still keeps commenting on my video every single day, talking shit, talking shit, talking shit, I left him open to comment on my channel, I didn't block him from my channel, I didn't block him on Twitter when I even had Twitter, he's entitled to his own views, and I'm not going to try and stop someone speaking their mind, people can slag me off on my channel all they want, it's there. It's their right to do so. This dude doesn't believe in the right of free speech. It doesn't believe people should be able to say what they want. It's just... I really don't know what to say about this dude anymore. He's literally like a fucking Nazi. He wants to stop people from speaking their mind. And if they don't agree with him, he just reports them off threats to sue them. When he's made a video in the past saying he was scared of getting sued. I don't really want to say too much because apparently I'm going to be sued. I don't really want to say too much because apparently I'm going to be sued. Yes, that's right, lads. He said he didn't want to say anymore because he was scared of getting sued. Then he threatens to sue me and take me to court over two fucking YouTube videos. The dude is just a man-child scared of people exposing him. How many exposed videos has this man made, ladies and gentlemen? Go to his channel and check. He's exposed apparently tons of COD cocksuckers and tons of EA cocksuckers. Mr. Pro Westy, EA sheep. All these other YouTubers, sheep. Drifter, sheep. T Martin, sheep. But when he gets called out, he cries. I just don't know how his fans are still on the channel. Can you not see how much of a hypocrite this man is? He titles his other videos, exposing the hypocrites. Dude, you're bigger than. You're a big hypocrite than all of them put to fucking ever. Okay, so some of these comments, lads, the. I mean, these, these tweets, these tweets. We should report him in game suspended. That's what he did to me. If I tweeted something like this. Okay, the hardest man on the internet. Half hard, he thinks he's 10 men. I've had bigger spots as the circumference of his pencil thin neck. You're insulting me. I want to report you because I'm an SJW. <laughs> if I'd have said that, he'd have reported me. Oh, dude. Dude, you're a bitch. I ain't got a pencil thin neck, man. You would have known that if you'd have met me in real life and settled this like fucking men. But you didn't want to do that. I would have just come speak to you. Whatever. Or you insisted for the fight. I was, I was obligated to do that. You didn't want to do it. You pussied out. So don't talk shit on Twitter. You're the fucking keyboard warrior, not me. I offered to do that. And what the fuck is this dude on about? He says that he thinks he could beat AJ at boxing. What the fuck are you on about? Do you think I think I could be the heavyweight champion of the world? He would fucking KO me stiff. He'd probably fucking flick me with his finger. I never claimed to be rock solid, especially not against a fucking heavyweight boxer. You are just a moron. And I know for a fact I could beat you in a fight. If you believe that's not true, back it up. Shit, you won't. So stop talking shit. He's just one of those keyboard warriors. I mean, I've got his fans saying I'm a keyboard warrior. I ain't no keyboard warrior. I was willing to meet the dude. I wanted to box on... Any, any other YouTuber on um, Joe Weller vs. KSI Undercard. I can't get on that shit because I'm not a big enough YouTuber. But this dude feels entitled to talk shit about me, but won't back it up. He can't make a video responding to me because he knows all his points are flawed. He won't meet me in person because he knows he won't do shit. He can't respond in any way apart from commenting and sounding like a little child and putting pathetic little tweets out like this. Whereas if I'd done that, he'd have reported it and got my fucking Twitter suspended. That's all this dude can do. Report, 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 and hide behind his fucking girlfriend.
And another neat little thing, lads. Once you've been suspended from Twitter, you shouldn't be entitled to make another account. It says that in the email you get once you've been suspended, unless they reactivate your account. He managed to do it. No one reported him for this. That's breaking Twitter's terms of service, because he likes to bring terms of service up a lot. I'm breaking YouTube's terms of service. I'm breaking Twitter's terms of service. I'm breaking Twitch's terms of service, which which I'm not. Everything I did was covered under fair use. Yeah, maybe, maybe I bit a bit on Twitter, and I shouldn't have called him a retard, but... He baited me into doing that so he could get me suspended. But shit, all he's done to get around this is he's tried a little loophole. Account owner Lindsay, when it's clearly not his girlfriend, he's just pinned that tweet to try and get through the cracks in Twitter's terms of service. It's clearly him. This is him bitching. You can recognise his bitching from a mile away. Watch any of his videos. Doesn't offer any constructive feedback, any constructive criticism. Just moans and whines like a little bitch. And then wonders why he's had so many exposed videos made of him. Just Google Simon B. Exposed. There's hundreds of videos. Someone called him a paedophile. I'm not backing out, but oh, that, that's a massive accusation to make. But he, he doesn't know. He doesn't know when to stop. And he just threatens to sue everybody. Even though most of the videos, probably not that one, because it's massive accusations, are covered under fucking fair use. He doesn't know what fair use is. He spoke about it in his videos in the past, saying his videos are covered under fair use. But when I make a video, it's not covered under fair use. He's just a massive... Hypocrite, lads. Let's look at this one. Make a video about me for the third time in a week. No, no, this will be the third one. That was, that was the second one. I don't know if you can count, Simon. One, two, three. Third one. This video is not out yet. You tweeted that nine hours ago. Learn to count, Simon. Harry, that's the only way you get views. Okay, so if I wanted views, I'd make more COD World War II videos because that video got half a million views. And I'm sure that's more views than any of your videos have got. And you've been on YouTube since, what, 2008? I started uploading properly in 2016. That's two years ago. You started uploading in 2008. I've been on YouTube less than half the time of you, and my channel is arguably more successful because I don't have to do stupid giveaways on every fucking video and live stream. You moron. Measure the circumference of you. Another insult. <laughs> Why did you leave me alone, Simon? Measure the circumference of your neck, and I'll even leave you alike this time. Call me a pencil thin neck. You could have thrown a jab against that, but we know you won't because you're a fucking pussy. And yeah, get ready for him to strike this video, lads, because he's going to strike both my videos. And he said he's going to try and get me two strikes on YouTube for making videos on him because he doesn't like it. Imagine if Memeos made a video on him and he actually fully roasted him. I'm holding back, lads. I could roast him to the goddamn heavens and back, but I don't want to do that because he'll just keep crying and crying and crying. Okay, so this is what I've referred to many times in the video. So he left this comment on my video today. Well, really early today, that is why I've now made a response. So, you are calling me a soy boy, which is against YouTube's terms of service. No, it's not. It's really not. I haven't directed any hate towards you. I'm pointing out the facts. And what I said was covered under fair use. You really need to learn the definition of fair use, Simon. Now, I will file for two strikes against you. This is the big mad, big bad YouTuber, this, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see what happens when you try to defend yourself in court. Fair use isn't even a law. You cannot use my footage without my consent. And you cannot even upload my image without my consent either. Two strikes and you cannot upload for six months. This dude doesn't know what he's on about. So by his logic, you can't upload. Let's say, let's say you use a Family Guy clip in your video. Shit, no lads, you can't upload that. You can't upload that because you've got, you've, you've got to go to the Family Guy creators for their permission. I mean, it, it don't matter if it's a 10 second clip. Clean Prince Gaming, get that out of your fucking videos. You ain't got permission from the Family Guy. Guy creators, you haven't got permission from Seth MacFarlane. You can't use that. You can't use those American dad clips. It's not covered under fair use. According to Simon B, attorney at law in School of Fuckery, dude is goddamn ridiculous. Doesn't know what the fuck he's talking about. He's trying to put facts out, trying to scare me. Thinks I'm scared. I'm smarter than you, dude. You can't beat me in any war you want. A war with words, a war with fists. You're losing every single one. So keep commenting your bullshit, right? I'll break down fair use for you, Simon, because you're clearly don't know what it entails. Okay, so seeing as Simon is finding it so hard to understand what fair use actually means, I'll break it down to you, Simon, because I know you're struggling and I, and I want to help you, so you can't go around and just piss off everybody on YouTube because there's so many exposed videos for yourself because you seem to get this salty over everybody. There's all these little YouTubers and you just shat all over them because he's a big YouTuber. I'm slightly bigger than them, so he can't really do it to me, but I'll break it down for you the best I can, Simon. Um, open your ears. Pay attention, listen, you might learn something. Okay, lads, get this. 
Fair use is a legal doctrine that says you can reuse copyright protected material under certain circumstances without getting permission from the copyright owner. Yes, that's right, without getting permission, Simon. I don't need your permission to use your fucking content. Hence how Leafy is here uses it. Hence how Memulus uses it. Hence how fucking Keemstar uses it and reports on the fucking YouTube news. You really cannot get your brain into gear. Yes, and below it says take a look at some videos for helpful examples. And one is of a Disney cartoon being dubbed over. If you're dubbing over something and you don't use the full fucking clip, that is fair use. Get that through your fucking head. I've not done anything breaking data protection laws or copyright protection laws. You're fucking delusional. You need to research better or shit. Go to fucking law school if you think you're going to become some sort of goddamn YouTube lawyer. Because you're fucking wrong, Simon. Admit when you're wrong. You're a fucking hypocrite. You're a bit of a dickhead as well. I didn't want to say that, but you are a bit of a knob. You've called all these other YouTubers twats and dicks and fucking lying cunts. When you're near enough, all of those put together and some. And you'd sell out the first chance you get. You get to 100k subs. You would get offered all these sponsored videos. You'd take them all. Don't even fucking lie. You've basically said that in your live streams. That's why you do these bullshit live streams. Giving away fucking V-Bucks. Every single video. And you only changed your titles of those giveaways. After I called you out to. Everybody sees who the winner is. Because other people believed it was fake as well. Not just fucking me. That's why you ban near enough 90% of the people from your fucking chat on your goddamn live streams. If I'm not allowed to voice my opinion on YouTube, um, what's the world coming to? You know, the freedom of speech, I should be able to say what I want. Yes, that's right, lads. That was Simon B that you're hearing right there. If that, without a shadow of a doubt, doesn't add to the already ridiculous amount of evidence I have put in this video, that this man is the biggest hypocrite slash just knob on YouTube. I don't know what to fucking say. I do not know what to say. He was near enough crying in this video about Activision trying to shut his channel down when he's covered under the freedom of speech, yet he tries to do the exact same to me. He's made so many videos saying they're shutting his channels down, all these big companies and all these big YouTubers, because he's just speaking his mind. Well, dude, I was just speaking my mind. I was just calling you out on your bullshit, and you basically verbally abusing me all the time. I don't fucking cry about it. You're free to say what you want. I don't give a shit what you say. You're the fucking big knob behind the keyboard acting like the fucking CEO of YouTube. I mean, you even went out of your way to tweet to the CEO. How desperate are you to get me removed, dude? You don't like people playing you at your own shit. Just, lads, come on. That is the most proof anyone will ever need. And he hasn't even covered his own tracks very well. Go back, just go back a couple of years, a couple of months, and you'll see... How many videos he makes contradicting himself. He's worse than fucking Leafy is here. And how many times has that dude been called out? Countless amount of times. But even he didn't cry about it. But Simon B, the biggest crybaby on fucking YouTube. If I'm not allowed to voice my opinion on YouTube, um, what's the world coming to? You know, the freedom of speech. I should be able to say what I want. If I'm not allowed to voice my opinion on YouTube, um... What's the world coming to? You know, the freedom of speech. I should be able to say what I want. If I'm allowed to voice my opinion on YouTube, um, what's the world coming to? You know, the freedom of speech. I should be able to say what I want. Let the hate flow through you. Okay, lads. So I swear to God, if any of you don't believe me, just look. Go back through his old videos. Just, just go back as far as six months when he's calling all these idiot. Well, he's calling, calling them idiots, calling them clickbait whores. Okay, so this title, uh, this video was. January 2016, yeah, it's a long time ago, but this just shows he's the fucking hypocrite. So if any of his fans don't believe me, just watch this. Just watch it, and if you still enjoy the man, I don't know what to fucking tell you. Keep riding his dick, I don't care. Okay, so Team Martin response video to clickbait and money whores, subs and views video. Then he basically goes to the video and says, Team Martin's the problem because he does clickbait. Why the fuck you lying? Why you always lying? Mm, oh my god. Stop fucking lying. You're doing clickbait to grow your fucking channel, Simon. It's the only reason your channel's fucking growing. You've gained 7k subs in the past 30 days. You've not gained that in a fucking year before. You are only growing from clickbait and fucking giveaways. You're the problem. You're the problem jumping on the bullshit V-Bucks giveaways to grow your channel. 
You're fucking worse than Team Martin at this point in time. He's grinding away on his second channel doing videos for games that aren't COD. Yeah, he's a bit of a COD cocksucker. I've said that before. That's a common joke. You're a bigger douchebag than Team Martin at this point in time. Everybody knows that now. Everybody who's watched my videos can see that. And you call these YouTubes out. The same with Mr. Pro Best. If you didn't see the thumbnails I put up before this clip, they were the thumbnails he'd made in the past, basically calling people out. He now does worse things than all of those, and he just threatens to sue people, threatens to fight them, doesn't back it up. Just threatens, reports, threatens, reports, and he's still commenting, saying, yeah, again, he said he was going to strike my channel, get both my videos took down, and hopefully I can't load for six months. And if he didn't know, he really wanted to get me. Fired from my real life job, suspended on Twitch, suspended on Twitter, which he's successfully done, and banned on YouTube. What sort of a douchebag does that? Ask yourself that. If you're a fan of this man, could you imagine Alie going out of his way to get somebody banned off YouTube who made a video exposing him? No. Would 8 Force do that? No. Would T Martin do that? T Martin wouldn't even do that? No. Would Syndicate do that? No. Would Mr. Pro Westy do that? No. Just this fucking hypocrite, lads. Ask yourselves that before you come and you white knight him in the comment section. He's the hypocrite, not fucking me. I've never done bullshit giveaways, never done bullshit clickbait, I've never done any of this bullshit. He's the one doing it, lads. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. I'm absolutely sick of pointing out goddamn evidence, but I'm getting comments just saying I've missed this or I've missed that. So we'll look at Simon B's goddamn social blade, okay? He's removed lots of his videos, people calling him out on it. That's why he's got minus 300,000 views. He deleted some of his live streams because he didn't want me to use that shit. Okay, let's just look at this. This just proves everything right in fucking front of you. Okay, so you look at his subscribers. Okay, this is this is his total subs month. Right, look, steady, thousand, couple hundred. Then it gets to where he starts doing the fucking Fortnite V-Bucks giveaways. Okay, argue against this, fanboys. Argue against this. Oh, monthly subs go from 73 to 4,500. I wonder why they're subbing. I wonder why those young, impressionable kids that he says, I'm bullying, are subbing to his channel. V-Bucks, V-Bucks, V-Bucks. V-Bucks, V-Bucks, V-Bucks. It's fucking obvious, lads, for the fucking V-Bucks. He himself cannot see this because he's a bloody moron. He can't see this. It's okay for him to call people names, but when he gets called it back, he doesn't fucking like it. The only sub to your channel are your fucking V-Bucks giveaways. Not because you've got amazing content, because your content is pretty shit. It just seems like you copy 8 Force. And I've looked back at some of yours, and you've basically done the same video as me three or four days later. And, and you're this amazing content creator, and my content shit. You don't even know how to edit fucking videos, dude. I just... That's, that's, that's more proof. There, lads. It's fucking social blade. Just open your eyes. Okay, lads. So this is the last one. Now, I really do feel bad for just playing him this much he's just made it so easy to call him out for being a fucking hypocrite another one bbc racist again white people jobs not available for white people yeah it's weird to the bbc trying to get them to do a fucking story on me bullying kids then he moans about the bbc here dumbass motherfucker. just makes more of just bang bang it just makes you want to bang your head against the wall how this dude has a platform and how he has over twenty thousand subscribers he just is the most condescending, narcissistic twat on this website over and over. And then he cried because I called him a soy boy. Dude, you're the definition of a fucking soy boy. Cry, cry, cry. And then try and harass people until they give in to your fucking demands. Simon B1471, the soy boy of YouTube, lads. And that's where I'm ending this video. It comes at me again. That's it. I will not hold back. I will just destroy this dude. And he can come up with all the arguments he wants. You're not an attorney at law, Simon. You're really not. You're really not. Stop acting like you're an attorney at law. Free videos now. We're about to just destroy all your fucking points. Don't come back. Keep your fucking mouth shut and keep my name out of your fucking mouth, you soy boy.